and rejoicing and there was so much controversy and on account of this they had to hold a meeting hallelujah because the apostles were now becoming obvious threats to their environment hallelujah and the scribes and the pharisees felt threatened by the presence of certain people although they were not educated as it were they were not learned people hallelujah and they had to call them over to the jerusalem council the council of religious people isn't it amazing that when jesus walked upon the earth he never had problem with sinners and unbelievers his problem was with religious people hallelujah and when the saints the first fruit of the finished work of christ walked upon the earth they didn't have a problem with demons and devils hallelujah their major problem was among religious people it's amazing how religion can resist the things that the holy spirit is doing they were men and women full of human understanding but had no comprehension of the precepts of the spirit for you to be a scribe and a pharisee you had to know the five books of moses the torah the pentateuch you had to know it off heart and moses in that prophesied and says a prophet shall god send to you was prophetically speaking about jesus christ the messiah and when jesus walked upon the earth although they had that in their head they still persecuted him until they killed him that's why jesus speaking in john 6 verse 63 said the flesh profited nothing he said it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing he said the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life and paul extending that statement said the natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit he said for they are spiritually designed you don't use your five senses to understand the things of the spirit because it gets to a plane where every revelation you are encountering will wrestle every sense of logic that you have so you must be able to ascend the hill of the lord whether or not your mind understands that's why we call it faith hallelujah that our life and our walk in this realm is absolutely hinged on the integrity of the one we are following and not necessarily on our degree of comprehension and what he's doing hallelujah and so he said a notable miracle i'm going to speak very briefly on what i titled notable manifestation of sons notable manifestation of sons We've spoken a lot about the manifestation of sons hallelujah romans chapter 8 from verse 18 says for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us then verse 19 says for the earnest expectation of creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of god hallelujah and the next verse says for the whole creation was subject to vanity not willingly but by him who subjected the same in hope talking about adam the first man handing over the rightful keys of dominion to satan hallelujah and so the earth groans and travails waiting for the manifestation of souls i need you to understand that all through bible history the only way that men give glory to god is when the deeds of god is seen and expressed in the eyes of men are you listening to me when no matter how supernatural a thing is if it ends in the secret God cannot be glorified are you listening to me because for God to be glorified men must be the ones to give him glory are you following me and therefore they must see and understand the goodness and the deeds of God and then as a response to what they see they will give him glory and give him praise and so when i talk about notable the word notable connotes being obvious being significant being outstanding worthy of note. the bible makes us to understand in acts chapter 4 verse 16 the apostles had been doing 
um, great things while Jesus was around. The Bible records that when he sent the 70, hallelujah, that they went and came back and said, even the demons are subject to us through thy name. So it was not exactly their first time of experiencing the manifestation of the power of God. However, the Bible says this was a different one. And what made it different? It wasn't because the miracle was new. It was because it was notable. Say after me, notable. It was notable. Done before everyone. Undeniable. Irrefutable. Beyond argument. Hallelujah. A notable miracle. And when the scribes and the Pharisees gathered themselves together, because they said, through which name did you cast this out? And Peter began to preach a sermon and they brought themselves together. They said, brothers and sisters, oh, well, no sisters, they're brothers. Praise God for ladies. How come there were no ladies when they were conspiring to do all these bad things? Ladies, that should be a thumbs up. So, are we agreeing that men are the cause of... Come on, remember Eve. <laughs> Hallelujah. Remember Jezebel. Remember the mystery Babylon was not a man. Was a woman upon the horse. Can I continue? Okay, remember the mother of Jesus. hallelujah okay that aside let's continue the bible says that a notable miracle although they they didn't believe god they didn't love the things of god there was no human way they would prove that this was not so hallelujah notable manifestations of songs the bible makes us to understand that special miracles he called them special miracles. They were not regular miracles. Special miracles were wrought through the hands of Paul such that handkerchiefs and aprons were brought together. The Bible says, just leaving his body, devils, demons were casted out. Special miracles. The manifestation of songs will not create the kind of ripple effect that the kingdom desires until everything about our lives become notable the secret of expressing glory to god through our life is that everything about our lives will be reckoned to be notable the bible tells us that many men live long however there was a man that caught the attention in the bible hallelujah what was his name, Bible students? Sorry? Some people are saying, Mel, Mel what? Hallelujah. Who is the oldest man in the Bible? Come on. How old? Expo. Praise God. Now, several people lived long. But how come we don't preach about the other people that live long? Something was notable about the longevity of Methuselah. The Bible tells us that there were many wise men. I mean, the spirit of wisdom and creativity in Exodus 31 rested upon Bezalel. But the Bible tells us that there was something notable about the wisdom of Solomon. It was so notable that Queen Sheba had to come from the east. To reckon with the fact that there was something notable about this man. And the Bible says when she came and saw the splendor of the palace. And the manifestation of the artistry. The creativity and the wisdom of the spirit. The Bible testifies that there was no more breath in her. And she said half of this was not told me. Notable manifestations of songs. Hallelujah. Notable. There were many men who were men of faith in the Bible. How come every time we talk about an icon of faith, we suddenly move to the father Abraham? Notable manifestations. The Bible says that a notable miracle happened. And as a result, 
because he was notable if he was just a miracle they would try to deny it but they said a notable miracle everybody saw this man crippled and then one moment they saw him standing they couldn't deny it they couldn't say it was stage managed for he had been there a long time the notable manifestation of the sons will begin to silence the systems of the world you know why God is allowing them to see all the evil and chaos because when the sons manifest it will be notable traceable impact that they can see and know that at a time T there was darkness and chaos why do you think the Bible tells us that there was darkness and then God said let there be light that that statement would have been skipped away in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and God said let there be light it would still make sense why did God have to contrast the darkness the chaos and the light is God's desire that we not only manifest as sons of light but enter a realm called notable manifestation undeniable manifestation unarguable manifestation of sons hallelujah when Jesus walked upon the earth the scribes and the Pharisees had been teaching you must understand they were learned people humanly speaking they were absolutely intelligent but for the first time they had a man preach and his context and expression was notable and the people took note they said who is this from whence comes this man who is this notable grace and the bible says he taught as one with authority and not as the scribes there was something notable in his life when he began to move there was something about his love it was notable hallelujah and when he climbed upon the mountain the bible says about five thousand people aside women and children followed him why because his manifestation was notable I needed to understand that John had manifestations hallelujah but there was something notable say after me notable obvious something conspicuous something um, undeniable and the unbelievers testified they said we cannot deny it we cannot deny it this is too notable there's no way we are going to try to cook up a story to stop God from receiving glory is notable God intends that your life becomes a notable sign and a notable wonder such that no matter what angle people come they'll say this life is too notable we cannot but deny the hand of God we cannot but deny the favor of God there were many people who worked in the ministry of helps and hospitality but the Bible tells us there was a woman called Dorcas notable hallelujah to the point that when Dorcas died all the women were making reference they said no she had done see it wasn't just ordinary the way other people were doing she was a giver notable until we begin to move in notable realms of manifestations the world will find intelligent human ways the Bible makes us understand that when Jesus died they put certain people the military people to protect him hallelujah and if they suddenly came and saw the grave empty they would argue it and so God needed to do something notable the Bible says on that resurrection morning I mean Jesus had the ability to walk through and they would not see him at least Peter did it Peter walked out of the prison Jesus would have kindly gone out of the grave but if he, if Jesus just went out of the grave
people who still argue it are you listening to me it had to be notable the moment a thing is notable it cannot be denied notable hallelujah notable i cannot look at this guy and say is a lady no matter what scientific evidences i bring this guy is a man because it is what notable there are notable features that attest to the fact that this is a man i cannot see this and call it assuming this is not a bible and call it a living thing this is a book hallelujah this cannot be a human being no matter what biological experiment i do i cannot prove that this is a human being now listen we live in a world where almost everything can be proven with science hallelujah people are trying to prove whether walking on the red sea was genuine and their scientists and physicists are trying to conjure certain things the world is trying to disprove the fact that jesus is lord hallelujah and right now there's the argument over transformation in lives and whether or not people are really healed when someone says he's healed they say just forget don't tell us that lie the end of all argument is a notable manifestation a notable manifestation hallelujah if the people had never seen the man at the gates beautiful they would conjure theories hallelujah and said the apostles went and cooked this up but everyone saw him they knew him they knew his parents are you following me his parents were known and then when this man got up it was a notable manifestation although they tried to argue they couldn't do much why because it was undeniable when you move in the realm of notable manifestations even satan will stop arguing about the fact that jesus is lord over your life satan gave a testimony about job hallelujah one of the few if not the only places in scripture where satan gave a testimony about a man satan gave a testimony that he could not break through the hedge of protection that was around you no table testimony then the bible says you are a city said you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be what a notable city you cannot be hidden he said let your light so shine i want it to be noticed i want it to be notable because when men see it and you let them know that i'm the author then i will be glorified that's why there are few cases in the bible where jesus healed the sick and did supernatural things in the hidden there are few times did you know ironically right now we have more miracles in the church than outside the church but do you know when you study scripture there were more miracles outside than in the church hallelujah notable manifestations of songs the bible makes us to understand that creation is waiting for the sons to begin to do undeniable things there are certain people that when you talk about them in the world system people can argue and say forget is this guy a real man of god just forget what they are doing however there are certain people that have stepped into a realm called notable manifestations that unbelievers believers alike no one understand that there is the hand of god upon their lives we celebrate many evangelists in the world however there's a man called evangelist billy graham notable Kabo satabaya there was something about his life hallelujah and as a result whether the president of america is a freemason or not he would come to pay homage to this man called billy graham 
there are many evangelists that have blessed the nations and especially Nigeria but we have one called evangelist Reinhard Bonke his name is almost like Coca-Cola when you call the name people say ah, I know Reinhard Bonke no table manifestations there's no denomination it doesn't matter what they believe or what they don't believe that will resist the presence of Reinhard Bonke no table manifestations hallelujah are you getting blessed it's not enough to begin to manifest the life the kingdom the power but we must step into a realm of undeniable manifestations that when you're exhibiting the character of the spirit it must be notable notable if you are a giver that you step into the realm of notable giving notable giving that your name will be synonymous every time i call your name what is notable about your life hallelujah bin laden did a notable manifestation although it was evil but it was a notable manifestation you will never read the history of terrorism without mentioning his name he earned himself that title notable manifestation hallelujah a woman in church history called mother Teresa how many of you have read about her was she the only woman who loved people don't you love people but there was something notable are you listening to me no table no table about her life there were many apostles isn't it interesting how the bible did not give detailed account of all of them i wonder why because on the day of pentecost the bible never said peter received the holy ghost two days before the rest how come some people did not make it the archives of their lives I mean the Bible dedicated two-thirds of his writing in the New Testament to just one man I think that's not fair enough room would have been given one one chapter for everybody to encourage diversity how be it there was a notable manifestation of an apostle hallelujah and tonight i've come to tell us that the world will stop denying the hand of god upon our lives when we step into no 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 when we before you say amen let me finish it when this is the condition when we step into that dimension of the notable manifestation of souls hallelujah there is no man by the grace of God Almighty who will pass around here and deny the fact that kings and priests there is a gathering of eagles to the glory of God. There's no man who will deny that Jesus is Lord in this place. It's to the glory of God I say it with all humility that every time you step there is something notable. We must get to that dimension where there is something notable in our lives are you listening to me notable that your love life will become notable that every time they want to give an example of one who passionately loves the kingdom hallelujah they'll say Aaron do you know Aaron is an example notable if it is not notable then you will never be able to make impact and bring glory to the father hear me hearing is our father glorified when we bear much fruit hallelujah hearing is our father glorified that when you become a notable mother such that it's not just your children who will attest to the fact that there's something about your life 
did you know that there are some families that the children prefer their neighbor's mother to be their mother or their neighbor's father because there's something notable there are some families that whenever you are free you want to go and relax there notable the life and the hand of god is notable there are certain people you want to be with the moment you have any spare time no matter how it inconveniences you you want to be around them there is something notable about their lives the question the lord is asking tonight is what is notable about your life what is notable for the kingdom many of us have a little of power here a little of passion for god here a little of zeal a little of grace a little of um the giving life a little a little but this bible i need you to know that there were many people who were featured in this bible but some were featured once and for all others were featured repeatedly in the old testament and they were featured in the part two of the bible they couldn't be denied abraham elijah sorry and enoch elijah and who moses i'm sorry they had finished their course in the old testament what brought them to the transfiguration again no table manifestations such that god used moses to typify the law and he used elijah to typify the prophets when god was showing me dimensions of his call upon my life one time i had a vision and god used two notable men of god to reveal to me the patterns that i would walk in and for years it bothered me i said lord why did you use these people how many of you have had dreams where god used someone's face to teach you something when god is talking about love then you see why was it not your face hallelujah no table manifestations of songs the lord wants us to step into that dimension where we begin to move in notable dimensions of the miraculous notable dimensions i cried and i prayed i told god yesterday you know while i was just praying in the night expressing my heart to the lord and i told him i said lord take me to that dimension of notable a notable life where everything about my life becomes an object of conversation to the glory of the lord hallelujah that people look and say why why does he talk this way why is it that um every time he speaks there seems to be something notable there are many people that sing on stage i, I always say it can sing on stage and raise a song and as you are going back your song dies with you there the people who are clapping cannot even remember what you sang hallelujah and then someone else will come on stage and sing the exact same song and that song will linger in your spirit for days and weeks every time the holy spirit wants you to worship that's the song even if you don't know everything about the song it could be a phrase it will remain in your spirit and every time you sing, you see the face of the one who sang. No table. There are certain meetings that when you enter, you get blessed and you go out. But there are certain meetings when you enter, you see that the presence of God in that atmosphere is no table. No table. Hallelujah. That when you sit, there is the consciousness that the glory of God is in this place there is a consciousness that God in the midst of his people is mighty how many of you have taken an unbeliever for a program and this is someone that is a noise maker and will not be patient and say I'll sit down for five minutes and he sits down and after ten minutes you see a sense of reverence 
and a contemplation within his an intrapersonal contemplation something notable is happening to him hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that on the day of pentecost something notable happened that was not the first time they were celebrating pentecost are you following me now 50 days after the ascension of jesus something notable happened and it attracted everyone to come and the bible says that they saw men filled with the holy ghost and were speaking and when peter spoke there was something notable about his speech and as a result three thousand people three thousand people came to the lord hear me it's time for everything about our lives to become notable are you listening to me it's time for what everything about our lives to become notable that every time you stand and you minister the word there is something notable an identity that validates that Christ is at work in your life come Steve please play this guitar notable there are many people that play the guitar there are many people that play all of these instruments what is it about the man we call steve strings it's not because he sings unusual songs necessarily go ahead and play steve notable there is something I know a lot of people professional people that play guitar but there is something notable hallelujah and every time you hear him whether you like what he's playing or not you cannot deny that this comes from a realm that is not of the earth there are certain people that when they speak their wisdom is notable the Bible calls certain people wise men from the east. There were many men from the east, but their wisdom was notable. Hallelujah. There's got to be something notable about your life for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to rise above that average and that ordinary life. We are going to rise above that limitation of nominal Christianity. It's time for your Christianity to be notable. Not just notable in church. It's time for people to begin to argue and discuss about your passion for God. It's time for people to begin to discuss the grace of God upon your life. The workings of the spirit that every time they are talking about intimacy with the Holy Spirit they tell them can you see how I covet Shea's dimension of intimacy there's something notable about her intimacy I've had the opportunity of counseling and talking with a number of people about the ministry of the Holy Spirit in their lives and there are about three or four of them that have attained a realm I call notable intimacy. Hallelujah. That at the end of speaking with them, I had to go back to God and cry and say, God, what, what, what did these people do that brought you into that depth of intimacy? Hallelujah. A notable life. That every time people see you, your life becomes a motivation because there is something notable. Every time they are talking about an example of a true servant of God, can your name be called for notable kingdom stewardship? Every time they are talking about men and women who demonstrate um, what it means to be prosperous and yet godly can your name come in the midst of that 
notable discussion. Acts chapter 4 verse 16. It says a notable miracle has been performed and we cannot deny it. I look forward to the time when in and through my life we will keep our generation stand still and say do you have any other argument as to why you think Jesus will not be Lord on this earth where we will dismiss all the facts and figures and all the things that people use to deny the fact that Jesus is Lord I look forward to a time when a sorcerer and a diviner is doing whatever he has to do and then you step into that place unknowingly and the jazz stops working notable carbo satire without speaking in tongues and making noise let me tell you the world is tired of our noise what they need is the notable manifestation of sons and so we can preach and sweat on stage and they cross their legs but the moment they see something notable they will arise and say what is this notable for as long as you love like unbelievers love Christ cannot be glorified because it doesn't make any difference when your love becomes notable then it will compel men to know that there is an ability at work in you that is not human for as long as your wisdom is regular and natural I look forward to a time when the government will run to the church and say we we are confused we don't know where to go politically economically and the church will say oh yes we know let it be as it were in the days of Daniel that when there was confusion and chaos in Babylon because the king forgot his dream and the king forgot he didn't even know the interpretation all the sorcerers and diviners failed and the Bible says that there was need for a man who had the spirit of God in a notable fashion and Daniel stepped out the king said I will kill all of you and Daniel said there's, there's no cause for alarm just give me one night I will bring a notable result and he got up in the morning and says oh king let me tell you your dream and he began to astonish him and he said I testify that the spirit of the gods I testify the spirit of the gods is upon him the Bible says when they were tested he was found ten times better ten times better was a testimony that the hand of God was upon his life the Bible talks about a man called Job he said Job was the greatest man in the east they were prosperous people the east was known for prosperity and wisdom how be it it was notable we must begin to make notable impact notable impact in our community when the church builds a borehole in a community and builds a school let me tell you something the government will have no option but to involve the church in the decision making of that environment the reason why we pray in tongues and shout and the world is not moved by our tongues and our revelation is because it is not yet notable hallelujah that every time you go to greet your auntie or your uncle they receive you with such warm reception because they have marked it that every time you greet them a door is open so there's something notable about your life the moment you say i am coming they get very excited do you know that there are some people you long for them to visit you 
there are some people you long for them to come and say hello because there is something notable about their lives we are going to be raising a cry I cried out my life yesterday I said Lord a notable life my generation must know that a son an ambassador of the kingdom has stepped his feet upon this environment for the glory of the king for the glory of the king notable that your excellence becomes notable that your wisdom becomes notable that your life becomes notable that the grace of God upon your life becomes undeniable such that although you are not the firstborn in the family they will never make a decision without inquiring of you somehow they know that your impute is relevant not just because you are prosperous but because the hand the spirit of the Lord is upon you hallelujah that in your department and in your faculty they will note you for certain things when it comes to the affairs of wisdom they know that the wisdom of God resides upon a citizen when the king of Syria sent Naaman with a letter and the king of Israel was was disturbed Elisha now Elisha said oh king why are you worried he said send the man to me and let him know that there is a prophet in Israel send him let him know that God has ambassadors who are still alive and are still doing well I look forward to the time when things are not going on in your room and your house and you step in and say Lord prove that an ambassador lives in this room prove that an ambassador lives in this place where your life and every activity around your life becomes notable when they make you a faculty president or a departmental president or a pastor or a minister that there will be something about your dispensation that will enter the archives of history that when so 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 and so 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 person was here there was something notable how many of us desire that kind of life if you truly want to bring glory to the king then you must desire the notable manifestations of sons notable let me give you a testimony to the glory of god some years ago they brought a lady from Congo who had some demonic things around her life very very terrible hallelujah and when that lady came she was supposed to come and see me I used to sit down near the Sunday school building and I just sat there I was just meditating and as soon as this lady stepped close she wouldn't move further again and the people said let's go they said I'm not going and then at a point they forced her and the moment she stepped in just where i was seated she just started shouting she said god is in this place god is in this place god is in this place and that's how she fell under the power of god and i tell you the truth instantly i sat down i was sitting there and i said satan go notable manifestation of sons there are many of us that need to look at our parents and say i speak to you enough is enough notable and suddenly things begin to change around their lives and they look at you and say what is it about your life and then you let them know that he is lord and i live to bring him glory until your life is notable the king cannot be glorified through your life are you listening to me there's got to be something notable whenever people are in trouble that they can run to you because you have been noted for certain things whenever people need solutions they can run to you because you have been notable and the bible says it shall come to pass that the mountain of the lord will be exalted 
to a notable point and he said all nations shall flow to it because it will become a house of prayer it will become a house of solutions it will become a house of breakthrough a house of increase and that's what god is doing by his spirit in koinonia making this house a notable place notable for signs and wonders notable for impact and transformation notable for the manifestation of the law of the character of the spirit notable for the grace and the hand of god notable for raising giants and champions and great men notable for communicating the mind and the counsel of the spirit for every season and i call you tonight to join in this quest of having a notable life enough of the ordinary life enough of the life that people can argue and argue about and say we are not even sure whether he loves god or not let me tell you when people are arguing whether or not you are a christian your life is not yet notable hallelujah when people look and say femi sorry we are arguing are you really filled with the holy ghost just settle this for us don't answer that question go back and lock yourself and say lord my life must be notable there are many people who try to replace this notable grace by wearing suits and speaking good english none of this will cover for the notable hand of god for your life i mustn't wear nice suit and speak with color and say okay i'm here bless you in the name of the lord jesus um i can bless your life invite me to preach well in your church the hand of god upon your life ought to be undeniable are you listening to me the bible says when jesus was born there was a notable star there were many stars but there was one notable star and the bible says on account of that star people began to flood into that place because a star was lifted and it was directly above that house that the lord will make your life like a star that people will flood and come and say what is it about the grace of god upon your life what is it about the hand of god what wisdom is this what knowledge is this hear me if you don't covet this thing that i'm preaching you will live an ordinary life and you will end up being frustrated the secret of impact that will bring glory to god especially in this generation of westernization and controversy there are so many options we need a notable manifestation of sons a notable manifestation of sons that when we are talking about givers the world will not dare say that they are on the top of the list in showing welfare and hospitality that the church will arise whenever there is disaster before the government finish their meeting we have sons of the kingdom who are empowered to step in and help the nations the notable hand of god upon our lives we look forward to times when when doctors conclude about people the church is already working in that dimension right now there are several sicknesses that even the hospital cannot diagnose and they tell them look i don't know what to tell you try god that's the only thing i know just try it's my desire that every one of us step into this notable lifestyle a notable lifestyle noted by believers and by unbelievers that the community in zaria the community in abu the community in kaduna state the community in nigeria will know that he reigns through your life you know every time we sing that song lord you reign forever when we get to the place that says you reign you reign you reign you reign one night i was singing that song 
and when I finished singing suddenly my spirit I had a voice saying you reign and so I twisted the song a little then when I sing you reign after a while I switch it I say I reign I reign I reign cause you reign I reign I reign I reign cause you reign the scripture that John Fah shared he said the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty and begins they are not the congregation of the small God calls you mighty it's a meeting of mighty men and God is saying mighty men how come you have not delivered the poor and oppressed why are things going on as though you are not alive Archbishop Benson Idahosa a man who lived a notable lifestyle during the popular Benin witch festival you will never talk about the history of revival in Nigeria without talking about the Benin Witch Festival and the impact of Archbishop Benson Idahosa. All the witches were going to come from the world and gather in Benin for a conference. And Idahosa said, not when I'm alive, not when I'm in Benin, it will not hold. Notable audacity. And the media challenged him he said it will not hold and a few days or about a day to the meeting they had to call a press conference of the chief of the witches this is recorded on video the chief of the witches and archbishop benson idahosa and they sat down and the media people interviewed them they said all kinds of things and when the presenter was about rounding up it also said wait don't round up i have something to say and he turned and looked at the man and said before the whole country answer now are you a witch be careful as you give this answer because you may fall down and die now are you a witch answer the country and the man kept quiet for a while this was a king of the witches here in Nigeria from India, Asia, all over and Idahosa said I'm listening guess what the man said no, Idahosa said you can close the program an ambassador alive and active what a notable life he was told that at a point he was traveling and armed, rob armed robbers blocked them hey come out lie down and he told he was surprised the driver was afraid he told he, he said park he told the driver park and he came out and dressed his clothes and the robbers were lie down lie, and he looked at them he said three things must happen to you now you are going to choose either to be paralyzed to die or to be blind but what must happen to you right now now listen I'm not just saying this the Bible says follow them who through faith and patience what kind of life is that hallelujah it was said of Bishop Oedeko that armed robbers came and kidnapped his daughter and they were running out and he said if I am a servant of God they will not cross my gate as soon as they got to the gate something happened they started arguing with one another and they brought back the child do you believe this let me share with you a testimony to the glory of God I've shared the testimony we're lying down peacefully in our house when a thief came and entered and when he entered he went to uh, the table where we keep our laptops and he carried my laptop and when he carried it before you know my brothers got up you know tried to pursue the guy the guy ran opened the door and ran away and it was in the middle of that chaos i woke up and i said what's happening and he said the thief had gone away with my laptop and i looked and there was no laptop 
and I got up. I said, well, Lord, two things will happen. The laptop will come back or you give me money to buy a new one. In any case, you are Lord. Hallelujah. And then suddenly I saw a vision of an angel and he just did this with his hands. And I didn't say anything. Hear me, friends. God is my witness. They are here to testify. Seven hours later, that laptop was back on the table. We didn't raise any alarm. The people in, this, in, the, in our neighborhood took it upon themselves and they pursued that arm robber and went to his house. He hid it under the carpet in their house. They brought it out. This was the case. I was counseling people in school. When they called me and said, please come. They had to go and bring his brother in um, where, um, the military cantonment. What do we call it? Basawa. And he came wanting to come and just plead with me. And the guy packed his things and ran out of Zaria. A time will come when somebody wants to harm you, he will reconsider. And say, is he worth it? Is, the, is he worth it? The word of God says, touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. When you begin to say, ah, witches are disturbing me. Devils are this and that. Will you press into God to a notable dimension where the demons and devils will reconsider and say, is he worth it? Or are we trying to frustrate ourselves for nothing? That you become so excellent and blameless that your, that your lecturer will have no basis of implicating you. The Bible says they look for an occasion to implicate Daniel and they didn't find anyone. Rise up on your feet. The communion service so we we'll have to pray so that we'll quickly take the communion go ahead and bless the lord notable manifestations of sons go ahead and begin to bless the name of the lord Go ahead and bless his name. And say, Lord, notable manifestations, notable from today by the hand of God. The grace of God upon my life is notable, 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 notable. The wisdom of God upon my life is becoming notable. Go ahead and pray. Bakaya. My world life is notable. My understanding, my insight to the world is notable. Your prosperity upon my life is notable. The goodness of God upon my life becoming notable the works of my hands no table go ahead and pray pray for your ministry pray for your life pray for your fellowship pray for your business for your group no table no table no table as a king reigning as a king reigning as a king Let's 
manifestation of the gift of the Spirit in the pool of life. Not the The wisdom of God. Not the When our lives become notable, then the world will reckon with the fact that God is at work in our lives. When our lives, when our passion for God, when our zeal for His house, when our giving, when our the manifestations of His grace, His power, His wisdom, when it becomes obvious, undeniable, then there will be no argument again. It's foolish to argue with notable results. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Now tonight is a communion service and we're going to be taking the communion. Now, I want you to take the communion with understanding and revelation. And I'll be reading two scriptures very quickly. John. John chapter 6. Brothers and sisters, I'd like you to cherish what God is doing in our midst. He's truly making us kings and priests unto our God. Hallelujah. Verse 35, John 6, 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life, and he that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. Verse 53. Just jump quickly to verse 53. And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have what? No life in you. It's not talking about the biological life. The manifestation of the divine life that will make you notable. Notable. He who eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed. And my blood is drink indeed. 56. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth with me. And I in him. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying for every time you partake of the communion. You reenact, you reenact the revelation of your oneness. Are you listening to me? Every time you take the communion, you realize that you is in the realm of the spirit. There is a renewal of the fact that you are one with Christ and that you are a possessor of the God life. A life that is beyond sickness. A life that is beyond failure. A life that is beyond weakness. Are you listening to me? The divine life above and beyond the limitations of the flesh. Very quickly, let me show you something in 2 Corinthians. I understand for many of you who have observed, you will notice that there has been an escalation of the death of fathers. How many of you have taken note of that? People's fathers just dying and the rate at which people are falling ill and falling sick 
but the bible says there is a bomb in gilead i want to show you a spiritual mystery tonight turn with me sorry first corinthians first corinthians 11 how that the communion is a spiritual principle that is an antidote to sickness an antidote to weakness and an antidote to the plague of death hallelujah verse 23 for i have received the, of the lord that which i also i delivered unto you that the lord jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is did he say this is bread he said this is my body which is broken for you broken for your sickness broken for your weakness broken for your limitation are you following me now he said do this in remembrance of me after the same manner also the cup and when he had supped, saying this is the cup of the new testament in my blood these two as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me hallelujah follow me to verse 28 but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh judgment to himself not discerning the lord's body verse 30 for this cause stop for not taking the communion with the understanding and the revelation of what it is empowered to do there are three things that happen for this cause many are number one weak many are number two sick and many sleep so when the communion is taken with understanding and revelation it gives you supernatural strength as ordinary as this looks humanly this is just bread and cake or, or drink or whatever but that there is a revelation in the spirit that this is what the bible calls the bomb in Gilead that when there is a plague of, a plague of weakness a plague of sickness the miss the lord's body that his body was broken in exchange for your strength in exchange for your weakness in exchange so taking that reenacts in the realm of the spirit the blessing of strength the blessing of health the blessing of longevity are you following me now and so we are taking this communion tonight with the understanding that there will be a supernatural impartation of strength spiritual strength mental strength and physical strength and we are taking this that by the revelation of Jesus Christ his body broken for us that no sickness listen to me no devil no demon will survive your body as you take of this communion and lastly that with this communion we end the plague of death over our lives and our families listen you need to believe this there is many people suffer because we do not understand the principles that god has put to address certain issues there's no point arguing over what god has said the mystery of the communion hallelujah the worshipers will lead us will quickly do this as we share please if you don't get just be patient i hope the cops go around i invite the ministers please as many just come we have one two three four five six seven eight nine seven twelve need at least twelve people please hallelujah at least twelve people praise god father in the name of jesus i pray over this communion this is ordinary drink and bread but we declare that the impartation of the holy ghost comes upon it in the name of jesus 
that as we take this communion tonight it becomes a supernatural antidote against weakness we banish weakness even that by the mystery of the holy communion in the name of the lord jesus we banish sickness from our camp we banish sickness from the body in the name of the lord jesus and father every covenant of death upon everyone's life and over our families as we take the communion an end comes to it let the plague stop in the name of the lord jesus Amen. therefore we bless this communion and we call it anointed in the name of jesus servants of god you can just pick it and walk around we may have some station some people should service those outside please do that quickly don't take it yet just take the cup and the bread hallelujah please let's have more people yeah, Pastor, you can have this. Let's have some people go outside. Please do it. Make it snappy. Just make sure you have the, the bread and the cup. And begin to pray. Pray up full. Yes, Pastor Show. What is happening in this place? Please let's make it snappy. Make a baraka tabara rabosha. Man to soto kaga tabara rabasha. Make it tabara rabasha. Man to soto make it tabara rabasha. 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 And the bread. We love Jesus. That's what we call. You are born in the midst of the Lord. The Lord has the Savior. The Lord has taken the Savior. The Lord has taken the Savior. The Lord has taken the Let's do it very quickly, very quickly. Let the ministers help out. Just ensure you have the bread and the cup inside, outside. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like you to pray and express your heart. What you're trusting that the Lord caused this to do in your life. This is not just a religious ritual. In one minute, I'd like this communion to make sense to you. the welfare let's have more looks like there are still people more as many who have even if you don't have you can get the bread let's let's save time
if you've not gotten the call, please just leave your hands. All right, please locate them and let everyone have it. There's more of the cup here. We're taking the bread, just pick a piece and pass it around very quickly. Let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of us have not gotten the cup or the bread? Hallelujah. Please, can we make this snappy? Let's do it really fast. Just keep your hands lifted. Please locate them and, and the ministers turn so that you can. The Bible says that Jesus said if you eat. Please, um, Shade, there are people here. Is it the cup or the, the bread? Okay. Please, the bread, just pick a piece and pass it around very quickly. Pass it around very quickly. Father, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that this is a sacred spiritual exercise. We are taking this to end the plague of death, to end the plague of weakness, to end the plague of sickness. He said we should do this in remembrance of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now together we are going to take the bread and the cup. Even, even if we've taken it and you've not gotten it, um, you can take that later on. Who has the bread? I see that they are not. Okay, please. Jimmy has one there. Please, I need everybody to have it. Let's do it quickly. Tumors will die. Growth will go. Demonic oppressions will leave. plague of death will end who has the bread I'm not sure the ministers have the bread please have this do we all have this please let me have the remaining so you can pick one for yourselves that's all right Just... okay here's the bread do we have any who doesn't have okay. everybody You've taken your own. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now look up please. This is ordinary bread. Hallelujah. And this is ordinary wine or juice or zobo or whatever it is. How be it? I need you in one moment to cease looking at this as just bread and a cup. There is a spiritual mystery. Are you listening to me? Jesus said, if you eat this, it's my flesh. And if you take this, it's my blood. That for every time you do this, you enact a mystery. An inexplainable mystery in the realm of the spirit. That dispels weakness, dispels sickness, and dispels death. 
and after tonight's communion we will say oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your strength enough of dying around it's happening all over the country enough of sickness and weakness lord we believe father anoint this even as we take it we bless it in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit together now let's take it go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit please pass the cups round go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit say the mystery of the body and the cup Go ahead and challenge weakness, challenge sickness, challenge death. In the name of Jesus, we are obedient to the ordinances of God. Challenge every unfruitfulness over your life, over your family members. No more death. Yeah, no evil. 
We're immune against robbers, immune against wicked men, immune against sickness, immune against demonic oppression. There's freedom by the power and the revelation. For when our obedience is complete, then God watches over his work to perform it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a practice that you can go on with. Don't idolize it. That's the trouble with people. When we begin to do things like this, we idolize it. It must be administered within the context of the world. Lord, we thank you for tonight's meeting. We'll be noted the goodness of God upon our lives will be notable. The hand of God upon our lives will be notable. The favor of God upon our lives will be notable. The character of the Spirit upon our lives will be notable. Our impact and increase the undeniable result will be notable Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, this is your first time worshiping with us very quickly. We are out of time. I'd like you to leave your seat and walk up quickly inside, in the overflow, outside. Appreciate them. If this is your first time, please, I'd like you to come out. Just walk up. We love you. We respect you. Please appreciate them. Do it very, very quickly. We're out of time. Hallelujah. I like you to jump up like a general and come very quickly. You are the light of the world. A city. Wow. I appreciate them. Come on. Give them a big, big koinonia welcome. God is good to have every one of you. Can we appreciate them? Give them a big, big koinonia. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's our joy and pleasure to have you worship with us. This is koinonia. God is doing great things. Hallelujah. Bringing us into points of intimacy with his spirit and equipping us to make great impact for the kingdom. Hallelujah. So I welcome every one of you. Thank you so much for making our time. We love you. We respect you. Very quickly, we want to pray and prophesy. I need you to understand that every one of us here is anointed, full of God's spirit. And when we bless you, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.